Ever wanted a creative body right inside Figma? Someone who helps you get feedback, improve your copy and generate images on the fly? Then this video is for you. Welcome to today's session, where we will talk a little bit more about Contently. Contently is your all-in-one design content assistant. It helps you get a quick, constructive feedback on your work. Feedback on your work, rewrite or improve copy in context of your document. It's like having a super helpful body that's always available, never needs a break and actually gets your workflow. Nice. Even better, you are not locked into one AI engine. With Contently, you can choose between multiple AI providers. What you'll learn today in this video, I'll walk you through how to use Contently inside Figma for feedback, text editing and image creation as well as feedback designs, your characters, your concepts and your flows with it, which is super handy. Afterward, I will give you a small comparison between the Contently AI features as well as the Figma native AI features so that you know exactly what to use when. If you are a designer, copywriter, product person looking to speed up without sacrificing quality, you are in a good place here. I'm Dave and uh, let's jump in. If you haven't downloaded the Contently Playground yet, now is the best time to do so. Feel free to also check out the other videos where we already learned a bit about Contently. For now, let's focus on the AI part. Let's move directly into the first task. In the AI foundation, I did a small spelling issue. Normally I would go through each of the frames to correct my issues because it looks just cleaner for the client. But with Contently, it's as easy as clicking the AI button and then click enter. Done. He corrected the whole design without even the need of a prompt. Contently itself tries to understand what you want to do, which means in this case he understood the user doesn't ask for anything and it looks also like the user did some spelling issues. So I guess the user want that I correct his spellings, his grammar, and this is what Contently then did without giving any prompt. This is not where it ends. If we go to the next one, we will see a typical empty state where we designed already part of the application, but we don't have any images. The text is also just placeholders. So the navigation only says label, 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 which is not what we want to have, right? So normally you would go into each of those cards and fill it with content. Luckily, there's nothing we need to do with Contently. We can select the top frame. If it's selected, we click also transform text without giving any prompt. And then we you wait a bit until we see what Contently tries to do and done. Contently actually recognized the navigation as well as the content cards and filled everything with content. We doesn't need it to do anything here, which is just nice. The reason for that is, like I already mentioned in the introduction, Contently has a document context, which means in the Contently settings, AI settings, we already wrote him a small prompt about the document and what we try to achieve here. He uses this to create all the content for us, which includes images as well as content itself. But this alone wouldn't be enough for Contently to really get things done. Therefore, it also tries to get your layer context by layer name as well as a layer content. In this case, it just recognized the layer name and the whole page is called Nerdy Ice Cream. Okay. We also had a layer called Navigation. It's made it even easier for Contently. And we have our list view where we already give some glimpse of what we expect to see here. Based on that information, Contently were able to build and fill the whole page with content. But that's not everything. One huge benefit we have with Contently. We can also create images. After we selected all the frames, we click the AI icon again, go to generate images, enter whatever we want to generate, and then click generate images. Inches later. Nice and consistent styles. Perfect. Oh, I love this one. Without creating any content on our own, Contently provided us with a nice navigation 
It provided us with the content for our cards and we theme a title for the card, a small funny description for the card, as well as a Bitcoin price and an Euro price, which is beautiful. Everything varies based on how much the product could cost in theory and also tried to recalculate the Bitcoin price from Euro so that we have a nice reliable layout now without doing anything. This is just, just out of the box amazing. Let's see what Connolly also can do for us and go to the next one. Let's go to the real work. Therefore, let's select the top layer, then click without prompt on transform text. Mm, nice. If I would have created the component correctly, let's use this opportunity to select one of the time slots, go on the select button in Contently and go to section, layer name and start selection. Contently will then automatically select all the matching layers and then adjust the layout and done. Go to the next one, AI feedback. AI feedback is rather helpful. You may need a brainstorm body. This is where Contently helps you. We can go in the tabs on Analyze Layout, select our frame, click Analyze Layout in the overview screen. You can also see that the calculation is based on visual design, UX and psychology, as well as brand communication and accessibility. In the AI settings in Contently, you can activate or deactivate whatever you are interested in. Plus ideas how to improve your design. Let's go to the insights. On the top, we can see different tips, UX and psychology, as well as visual design, brand communication, accessibility, and my personal favorite, ideas and inspiration, where Connolly gives us some ideas and some clues here and there, how we could further improve the layout to make the best out of it. Under UX and psychology, Connolly already recognized that we have a habit forming app here, which is nice and that we already implemented some measurements to enforce the gamification and the learning character. It also recognizes that's released a loose aversion principle so that our users stays on track, which is nice. You can learn a lot about UX psychology, which is so great. And it gives us also some actions by tab. In this case, it says, Incorporate a street counter or visual reward system to further reinforce habit formation. Aligned with the hooked model, which is a brilliant idea, by the way. It's also called shaning. What else we have? Implement a progress indicator or gamification element to make tracking the daily score more engaging and satisfying. Tapping into the endowment effect. Users value something more once they possess it. Cool idea Contently. Would love to implement those changes. Let's go on the last tab, idea and inspiration. My personal highlight. Here it summarized everything what we could do to improve our layout further. Let's give it a look. Explore incorporating personalized recommendations for new daily tasks based on the user behavior. Nice one. Implement a celebration animation or micro-interaction when a user completes a new daily task to provide positive reinforcement. Awesome. What Connolly tries to do here is it not only check your layout, it also tries to give you ideas how you can further improve your layout, make it what it deserves, a true masterpiece. This sounds so wrong, but you know what I mean, right? If you think the feedback is fine, you have also the option to save it to Figma directly. Connolly placed the whole feedback close to your selection, which is also really helpful if you have a design team. Mm, nice. Or one more famous example. I would like to use uh, this example to compare Contently with the Figma AI to give you a feeling of where the difference is between both of them. Okay, do nothing, select everything, click transform, wait two seconds, here we have our dates, looks already correct. Now, we want to have add to each date a memorable event name, which in this year. Okay, that is awesome. Currently, you was able to find an event matching the year. Let's try the same thing with the Figma AI. Select the frame, open, rewrite this in Figma and let it do it. The thing. Curious to see if the Figma will spot the same events as currently. Nope. Well, here we can wrap it up. We try to get the same results out of currently as well as Figma. So in all cases, we needed to give Figma an extra push just to deliver 
something close to what we wanted to have, while constantly delivered on first try, even managed the iterations. And here we are with what Condently can do better than Figma. You are able to choose your AI provider. You can choose the best provider for the job. In our case, we choose Google Gemini, as it is the most advanced model yet. While the Figma you stuck with a GPT, in Condently, you can use your own API keys which also enables you to use the models you want to use. Connerly isn't able to edit your image. Is this something you can do with the Figma AI? Say, I want to have it more colorful and hot image. With the support of Figma, you can edit your creations beautifully, like you can see here. There's no way to make it better than Figma actually does it. That's why there was no reason to implement it. What we can also do with Figma, uh, we can remove the background. Remove background. So these are literally all the things I do with the Figma AI. It's mostly about editing images and removing backgrounds. For everything else, I tend to use Contently, as Contently is faster, more reliable, and a way better brainstorming partner. That's it. As you have seen, Contently isn't just another plugin. It's a real design partner. Whether you find you in copy generating visuals or getting unstuck of helpful feedback, Contently works with you. Right inside Figma. Figma AI has its strength, especially for quick edits or image tweaks. But when it comes to understanding your layout, saving time, and staying in the creative flow, Contently takes the lead here. If you haven't already, grab the Contently playground file and give it a try. And if you found this video helpful, feel free to leave a comment comment or a question below. I'm always happy to help or just nod out over cool workflows. Don't forget to check out the other videos in this series. If you want to dive deeper into the Conantly features, check out, I guess, here or here, the other Conantly videos. Enjoy your day, be productive, be creative, and see you later.